Hello, welcome to another episode of how to use Tel 3D software. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and click on the download studio button to download the software. So I'm going to go and use the pen to um, draw the base of my sketch. So I'm trying to um, get a pencil shape of the sketch. I'll close it and create a curve on the hip towards the waistline so I can get a smooth curve. I'm also going to use the edit pattern icon, click on the medium and symmetry paste, copy and paste for the back. Then I'm going to select the arrangement tool then um to like place the back of the sketch very well so i'll click on it and just place on one of those blue lines there and drag it down so i'm going to show the both sides of the sketch and simulate Okay, so for the back piece, I'll want to separate it. So I'll just draw a line with the pen to split, apply symmetry. Then I'll be so again so I can create a slit for the back so the, um, the sketch will not be too tight on the knit. So this will help pull out that fabric by the side of the leg. So to create the waistband, I'm just going to draw a line upwards. I'll use the X tool to place a point there. Use the pen tool to draw a line coming to the middle. And I'm going to cut and sew. Now I just to create like, you know, a skirt band most times is just straight. So I'm going to like adjust it so I'll get that straight look for the band. So it can help tighten the waist. I'll do the same thing for the back sketch too. So you can see it's firm on the waistline. So I'm going to delete the sewing on the band and reduce edit the sewing for the lower skirt so as uh, so that I can fix my zipper so i'll go over and select the zipper too and just sew on both sides and simulate so to draw the blouse i'm going to go over and use my pencil to draw the base and this is me doing that i'll adjust the neckline and also the arm o to get a curve copy and paste for the back also and use the alignment tool to also place that just like we did for the sketch piece you can decide to change from curve to flat under the property editor. Then we go ahead and use the free or segment sewing tool to like sew the two pieces together. Then you simulate. Um, I'll let lengthen the blouse a little. Let's see how that's going to look. So let me go over the activate pattern and sewing for the sketch piece and hide it so we can work on the blouse perfectly. Mm, widen this a little bit. So for the for this middle piece, I want to create two different parts. So I'm going to use the pen to separate and link the two patterns together again. So because I want the blouse to have button, I went ahead to 
extend the lines for the front piece where we're going to place the buttons then i'll use the button tool to like place the button on one part of my blouse so when we are done with that we're going to select all the button and duplicate as button all to the other part of the blouse then use the fasten button to like sew them together to perfectly to place this perfectly we're going to move the other one where the button hole is forward then strengthen then simulate again so it lays perfectly well don't forget to put that layer as layer one so it can stay well which we just did now you can see so for this i don't know if i want a v neckline or a curved neckline so i'm just trying to like edit that um i think i'll go with a slightly v because i'm going to fix the color there then i'll go ahead and delete those buttons so um to remove those lines there you can just use the trace to select and delete them um because i don't want those lines to show so i'll apply same type into the neckline so to make it firm then um to draw the color i'm going to use a rectangle to I'll measure the back neckline and the front neckline and use that to create a rectangle for the collar. I'll delete the, a point and create a smooth curve. Then I'll go ahead and symmetry pattern for the other part of the collar. So I have the same thing. Then I'll start sewing from one part of the collar using the M and L tool, then um, the other part of the blouse, starting from the back. Then when it simulates, we have this. Okay, so the trick to this now, I'm going to undo that, is to make sure that I freeze the lower part and simulate again. So because I want this color to fall perfectly, I'm going to create a line in between that color. Then I'm going to use the fold arrangement to, to flip that so my color can lay perfectly. But I'm going to increase the neckline for the back bodice so it can also lay flat. Remember to remove frizz so that we can see how it simulates perfectly. So you can see how the color looks now. So for the bodies now, I'm going to create that. So to create the that, just click on that icon there, indicate how long you want that to be and the width for each that. Remember, whatever you do on the left will appear on the right because the both patterns are both the same thing. We link them together and do the same thing for the back also. So let's follow the re patterns. Let's follow the re theory of sewing. The, if you are placing the dots, remember to also extend the side piece of your back bodice. And okay. So I'm just adjusting the dot so I can get a perfect fit around the waistline. So I'm going to freeze that and create a sleeve for it. This is how I create my sleeve. So I love following the real, real dressmaking method. So I'm just trying to create curves on my sleeve so it fits perfectly into the armhole. So I'll use the M, M and N sewing tool to sew them together and simulate. I'll copy one part of the sleeve and place the other one. 
then sew both sides together. So I'll cut out the lower part of the sleeve because I want to create a balloon sleeve. So the down is going to be the cuff. Then I'll use the slash and spread tool to create fullness around my sleeve, the upper part of the sleeve. So I'll just extend and simulate and reduce the length of the band. I'll extend, use the slash and spray tool for the upper sleeves again. It's more of like, this is like how to create a bishop sleeve. But please um, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so, so I can share you how to make different sleeves in style 3D. So I will create more fullness for the sleeve. I want to change those dots to convert them to curve lines. And bring it down a bit. So um, there's a style line I want to create for the hem of the sleeve. So I'm just going to like drag it down a bit and include this. So I want it to be around the middle finger, so this looks too long, so I'll just reduce the length and try to place it around there. I'm also going to reduce the particle densers for the sleeve. Then I'll create the other piece for the other part of the sleeve also. So I want our blouse to have a peplon, so I'm just going to create a rectangle, then I'll sew it to our blouse. I don't want to use the regular flay method, I want to use the slash and spread. So I'm just going to sew, then click on the rectangle, increase the length a bit, then supermose over. So for the peplon, I want to give it a bit of structure, so I'm going to edit the fabric so I get what I want. So I'll go over and select my fullness tool and I'll try to increase the size of my rectangle by more of like just using the slash and spread method. So that's basically what I'm trying to do here. So I'll keep slashing and spreading till I get what I want. But I'll reduce the points, I'll change the points to curve points. And try to blend that in. I think I'm okay with this. Well, let me adjust the fabric property a bit.
So in style line, I want the I don't want her pipeline to be regular, so I'm just trying to like create a little bit of curve or shaping, add a little bit of shaping to the pipeline. So I'll smoothen edge the edge of the peplon to just give it a little curve there, right there. So I think this is perfect. So I'll activate our sketch pattern and make it okay. Let it show. So because I don't want this to overlap, I'm going to change the sketch, um, the blouse layer and set it on one. So it sits perfectly on the sketch without any, without issue. So this is me selecting the fabric I want to use for our clothing. So I think I would go with this. Okay. So I'll go ahead and select the piping tool because I need to create piping detailing on the clothing. So I'll just go over, use the piping tool and I think I would want the width of the piping to be about 0 0.200. And I'll do the same thing for the peplon and some part of the sleeves including the skirts so I, I want to change the button so I'll just go over and change the button and set it on plastic So I change the pose and this is what we have. So I included the background and rendered the image. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe please. So now I make the hat and the back. Please watch previous video. Um, I have a full tutorial there. Thank you so much.